This will be a very quick tutorial about how to make a monster face in Adobe After Effects. So start by launching Adobe After Effects. I use CS6 but you could as well use CS5 for this tutorial. Okay, now you need a video clip and I have a video clip here in uh, which you see me open a door and then we can make an animation on my face here. So let's take that clip and add it to the project and drag it down. Now we have created a composition with the same settings as in my clip. And what you want to do is to have the clip selected and go to animation and track in Mocha After Effects. Now we have launched uh, Mocha. And as you see, we have uh, an error here. We cannot open the file because it's an MP4 file and that is not supported by Mocha. What it is instead do it that it reads uh, files like images. So if you instead make the video to many different uh, TIFF files, which I already done here, I have a sequence of TIFF files. You could do that in uh, many different programs, for example, uh, Adobe Encore, or you can uh, insert the video in uh, like. Premiere Pro and then export it as a TIFF sequence also. That's also a possibility and I will not show you it here. I will just take this TIFF sequence which I already have. So now you go to File, press New Project, Import Clip by clicking Choose. And now you go to this uh, TIFF sequence folder and select the first of these uh, pictures because uh, Mocha After Effects will automatically know uh, that it's a sequence of pictures just because of this number in the, in the end of the file. Then you have the project name here which uh, doesn't really matter and uh, the frame range so you see here it's from 1000 to 1208 uh, that's it, just because I have already cut down the video clip before, so the first frame was the th thousand, uh, the frame number 1000. But if you do this with a video clip which you have just recorded, this uh, should be zero and this whatever number of frames you have in the video clip. Then you should also select the appropriate uh, number of frames per second, which in uh, my case is 25 and then just press OK. Uh, I already have this uh, uh, project loaded uh, so uh, maybe I should uh, choose a different name instead. So let's uh, name it sequence 2. OK. Now I have my project here. and. Let's go to the point where we actually want to make the tracking. We want to make the tracking somewhere here because uh, here you see my, fa my face and we want to track it to the end. Because you don't really need to track anything in the beginning. You you only need to have tracking data for the part where you actually are going to make an animation afterwards. So let's start the tracking over here. And then you can take this tool named Create X Spline Layer Tool. If you do this in uh, Adobe CS5, then you will instead have some uh, red shaped tool going around in a loop. Uh, but it, the name of it is still uh, Create X Spline Layer Tool. And what you do is that you select a static part of the face. So uh, I will select uh, my eye here. And the other eye will actually be covered by hair later on. So I will not select the other eye. 
go down and I know my air is quite static so I take that one and then I go back I also bring the nose in the picture down to the other ear and up to the eye again. Now I have a few dots which uh, can be tracked by the program. So then we go down here and you see that it's lit up uh, track forward in the tooltip text. So when I press this now it uh, track these pixels along the file. Okay, so now the tracking is finished. Uh, and the thing you should always do now is to verify that you are happy with your track. So scroll this through and look if it looks okay. And uh, to make it easier, you can apply this grid up here, show planner grid. Now we actually have uh, a planner surface that uh, corresponds to the direction in which uh, my face is uh, aiming. This looks quite good. Uh, what I should mention is uh, the settings down here. Uh, these settings are the ones that uh, are used by the program to determine how the motion is done. So we have translation, scale, rotation, and shear activated right now. You could as well activate this perspective, but uh, usually this is uh, uh, the best choice to have these four. But you can play around with that and see what you think is the best for you. Uh, so now anyway, uh, as this is just a tutorial, I will not go ahead to adjust this so much uh, because the main part was to actually get this tracking surface but you could as well adjust the points now if uh, if you would like to have it more refined or anything so what you should do now to uh, export this to adobe after effects is to make sure you have the layer selected and when the layer is selected here then you have an option down here to export tracking data. So click on that one. Then you get up a dialog box where you can select a different kind of formats. You have two corner pin formats here and then a third other format. But the thing you're looking for is a corner pin format. And if you have Mocha import within that name, you should select that one. But if you have an old version of this program, then you will not have this Mocha import in this uh, alternative. So then you will just select a corner pin. So anyway, I select this one and I save. So I go ahead and name it Mocha track. Uh, I actually already have one of these, so I will not do that again, but uh, you save it here. And then when you're done, then you just uh, quit this program. And go into After Effects. Here in After Effects, you have you go to your Mocha Import Plus. Here you should uh, load the data. So just click on load. Now you select the txt file you created in Mocha. And then it asks you which file was tracked. And we obviously just have one here, so it's easy to see. Okay. Then you select the method here, which you should set to stabilized precompositions. This will create a precomposition that is stabilized by those points so that you can apply effects to them. So go ahead and apply. Now it takes some time to calculate this. Okay, now it's done. And uh, what you see up here is uh, the part which was selected in uh, Mocha. 
uh, this is a part you could actually change because uh, it is uh, it is a square. I should go. I should actually go back into Mocha. And now I stopped it, and I show this planar surface. And this planar surface is the one which determines that pre-composition size. So you can go ahead and change this to be the part you want to apply the effect to. So now I have the planar surface and I go back to After Effects again. Okay, so I just go forward here, and you will be able to see that, see it, it follows my face. But uh, you want to go ahead and edit this frame. So, we want to go into this pre-composition. But we also want to solve this problem of having a black background. So, what you do is that you take your original clip and add it under your pre-composition. Now, you now we actually have two videos over each other, which are perfectly aligned. So now you can go into this pre-composition, and now you see that it's zoomed into just the part where, where you will see my face. So now you can go ahead and add the different effects because uh, now everything here on my face is at the same, approximately the same position at all times. So I'm going to show you one thing and, and then I will continue it very quickly. Uh, hit Ctrl D. Now the, the video is duplicated and select the first one. Then take the pen tool mask out the nose so now we have the nose there and uh, if i show just the nose now now we have it there so let's uh, increase the feather a little bit about also that's probably good and what you can do now is to verify that the nose is in the same position at all times by clicking through here. It seems to be quite similar. So what we're going to do now is that we are going to increase the size of just the nose. So I go to transform, scale, and scale up the nose. And you see that I adjust these points so that it fits this case. Ah, that was kind of boring. We want uh, much more change. Okay, now I have a really big nose. And in this way, you can go ahead and change different things. 
And when you think you're done with uh, changing uh, the look of this face, then you just go back to this main composition and you will have it here tracked within the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final result when uh, I've added all the effects.